Now let's go ahead and take a look at independent and dependent events. In a game, two die are tossed and both roll a six. So when you're doing two events, you can just multiply both probabilities together. There's one six on a die, so it's a one out of six chance. Uh, times one out of six for the second die, also getting a six. So it's one out of 36. By the way, you could also do sample trees if you ever get stuck on these. And you say, well, what are the choices for my first roll? You could go one, two, three, four, five, six, and then go one, two, three, four, five, six for each of those. The only problem, as you can see, is there are 36 total outcomes. From a drawer of eight blue socks and six blue socks, a blue sock is drawn and not replaced. Then another blue sock is drawn. So we're going to um, do the probability that a blue sock is drawn, not replaced, and then another blue sock is drawn. So I'm doing both events, all right? So probability of a blue and then a blue. So um, I'm going to say it's eight over the total number of socks, or eight blue and 14, uh, and seven over 13. So it's going to be eight out of 14 times seven out of 13. Now, personally, I think this question is a little ambiguous because you could say what's just the probability of the blue sock being drawn given that the other sock is drawn and not replaced. So you could almost argue that the answer is also 7 over 13. But for this case, we'll just look at both of them occurring. And so our final answer is 4 over 13. A die is tossed if the number rolled is between 2 and 5 inclusive. What is the probability the number rolled is 4? Well, besides sample trees, the other thing you might find helpful is writing sample spaces or the possible outcomes. If I, it's between 2 and 5 inclusive, that means that includes 2 and 5. So I could roll a 2, a 3, a 4, or a 5. Well, how many of those are 4? Just 1 out of 4 possible outcomes. So the probability is 1 out of 4. Mina wants to buy a drink from a vending machine. In her pocket are two nickels, three quarters, and five dimes. What is the probability she first pulls out a quarter and then another quarter? So the probability of pulling out a quarter on the first try is three out of ten coins. Then she has two quarters left out of nine. So you just multiply both of those together, which would be six over ninety, or basically uh, one over fifteen. Now on the other side of the worksheet, we're looking at a bag of five red and six green marbles. A red marble is drawn and not replaced, then a green marble is drawn. So we're going to go ahead and do red and then green. So the probability of drawing a red is 5 over 11. And then green, there's still six green marbles left, but there aren't 11 marbles left anymore because we didn't replace it. So we would say there are 10 left. So 5 times 6 is 30, 11 times 10 is 110. Uh, it simplifies to 3 over 10. This next problem, we have a card is randomly chosen from a standard deck of 52 cards, then replaced, and a second card is chosen. So that means I'm putting the card back. Well, what's the probability the first card is the Ace of Hearts and the second card is the Ace of Diamonds? There are 52 cards in the deck. Only one is the Ace of Hearts and only one is the Ace of Diamonds. So I'm going to have 1 out of 52 and 1 out of 52. Now if I hadn't replaced it, this 52 would have changed to 51. But since I did, the answer is 1 over 2,704. Now uh, a black shoe is selected at random from a bin of six black shoes and four brown shoes and not replaced. What is the probability that a second shoe selected will be black? This one, notice how um, it's kind of just asking about the second shoe. So on this probability, I just said, well, let me just think about that second black shoe. If we've already taken one of the black shoes out of play, there are only five left, and there are a total of nine shoes left. So I would say the answer for this problem is five over nine. Problem seven, in a game, a spinner with eight equally sized sections is spun and a die is tossed. What is the probability of landing on an odd number on the spinner and rolling an even number on the die? So we're going to assume that the spinner has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 on it. So four of them are odd and they're out of 8 total. And on the die, those are six-sided. So that would be 3 out of 6. Multiply both of those. This is 1 half times a half, which is a fourth. 